Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. So feel free to check out your other placements. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. I'm going to be doing a different spread today with some new Oracle cards that I've gotten. Um, I'm going to be looking at your person, the person that you are thinking about right now, how they see you, what their current energies are, what your mutual energies are. And then I will be um, using, a, how do I say it? I'll be using um, a new, I'll be kind of doing things differently. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I created a new Oracle deck of my own, just handmade here of messages this person would say if they had the chance. Um, so I've really been enjoying using um, this deck and I've been enjoying using my new decks and the new spread that I'm gonna be using today. Um, so I'm really excited. I hope you enjoy it. Um, whatever situation that I talk about today, Capricorn, remember that time is fluid. So it could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future. And feel free to flip the roles if they resonate. Okay. So spirit, what do you have for Capricorn regarding the person they are thinking about? I'm going to look at the current energies of your person first. Spirit, what are the current energies of the person that Capricorn is thinking about right now? Okay, so there we go. We got our cards. That was quick. All right, Caps, let's see. We got Fork in the Road. Gotten that before. A Change in the Wind. Okay. And Co Create. Okay. So I'm going to read the Co Create one um, because that card always confuses me i always think of um kind of like working together to build something but then i read the message and that's not really what it says so let me quickly look at that the co-create card i'm going to read the relationship message of the co-create card connections of the heart serve to inspire you opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own you're looking in the mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way um your love is a unique work of art now the very embodiment of beauty and then it says you are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open so very interesting message there so what i see is that your person they're making a decision they're making a decision they want to change a situation that they're in um but you know they have to choose the path i mean it's this decision is not one that can make it you know that this decision I feel like there's a lot of doubt that this person is having um, and I think it's causing them to hesitate like I feel like they're really looking down at each path that they're in that they could go down and they don't know which way to go just yet they just know that a change has to happen um, I think that this person could have recently met you guys could have recently met and it's inspiring this person to look at something new um this person could also just be looking at themselves in a new way as well um based on whatever situation they are in so let's see what else we can get from these energies this is the ojo zen tarot deck it's based off of traditional tarot but i use it more as an oracle deck because it's very different to traditional tarot so Let's clarify some of these energies. Spirit, tell me about Fork in the Road for Capricorn. Tell me more about Fork in the Road. And Fork in the Road, all these three cards have come up in other readings that I've done. So I, I find that very interesting. So we got Consciousness, um, which is kind of like the Ace of Swords in a traditional tarot. But what I'm seeing here is this person, again, has had some sort of conscious realization about a decision they have to make so one more please for fork in the road i have one more please for fork in the road spirit what is this energy about letting go yeah this person is probably thinking about letting go of something to go towards something new tell me about a change in the wind letting go is kind of like the eight of cups in the tarot so this person is definitely thinking about leaving a situation yeah look at this rebirth rebirth with change in the wind this is similar to the ten of swords in the tarot oh my gosh 
And I believe this one, Beyond Illusion, number 20. I don't know if this is, I think this is, hold on, because I have a, oh, oh my bad. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna just really, I have not memorized the Major Arcana numbers, but I think number 20 is, oh, Judgment. So, Beyond Illusion. So this person has had some, is again, ending a cycle here because they want to change their situation. And I feel like it has to do with them looking back at the choices they've made. Maybe they were in a karmic situation of some sort, and now they realize that they need to go down a new path here. I'm going to leave that over there. So let's look at co-create. Tell me about this co-create energy spirit. What is this about? Oh. Yeah, look at this awareness which is the seven major arcana number seven which is the chariot doesn't remind me of the chariot at all more than anything i'm seeing someone seeing past a situation here seeing past the surface of a situation finally um revealing themselves here with awareness being aware of the new beginning that they have to embark on and then we got playfulness i think this is similar to page of wands see these I, that's why i don't really use these as traditional tarot decks i use them more as oracle decks because to me they're very different so with this playfulness and awareness here i feel like this person it could be taken two ways either they were not serious enough in the past and it's cost them something or they're aware that they need to embark on a new journey something lighter something freer for them so let's see what the terror well actually no just kidding let's see how this person views you capricorn this is the wild unknown animal spirit deck which i love i'm still learning it though but i love using this to kind of get a sense of how someone views someone else or how someone feels about someone else so let's see how this person feels about your connection with capricorn how does this person see capricorn or this connection spirit whoop almost dropped that one owl love it okay how does this person see capricorn or this connection spirit spider so with spider it's tireless effort kind of this the spider doesn't give up it works really hard could also be something complex here and with the owl, very intuitive. And look, there's the crow. These these two, the owl and the crow, are very spiritually connected or connected to spirit. The crow, um, it knows the unknown. It sees the unseen, past, present, and future. Very connected spiritually. I feel like this person has either they have seen their future, the future that they want for themselves, and that's what they're working towards, or... They've had some sort of intuitive guidance from spirit here with the crow. Um, so let me look at the owl real quick. Because the owl, yeah, this is about something good coming coming to you. Um, an omen that a treasure is on its way. Um, it could be spiritual or material. And it says, with owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this treasure. So... Um, I think this person has had some sort of intuitive guidance here. Um, it's almost like they've realized that they have to let go of something. And that's been a gift from the universe is the, the realization of a second chance, of a second opportunity here. And then with Spider, this one's... Um, There you go. Yeah, this is this is all about creating here with the spider. Process oriented rather than result oriented. Abundance follows. So again, um this is Is, is hard work, but the spirit, the spider never tires nor becomes impatient. So again, tireless work is how I see the spider. 
Um, I feel like this person, whatever they have to do to go down this path, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort. But I think this person is determined. I really see them being determined in going towards this new path. And this new path could lead them back to you or right to you, Capricorn. So let's see what the tarot has to say. What are the mutual energies between you two? Spirit, what are the mutual energies for Capricorn and the person they are thinking about? What are the mutual energies for Capricorn and the person they are thinking about? <clears throat> Excuse me. What messages do you have for Capricorn in love? Regarding the person you are thinking about, Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know regarding this connection? Mutual energies, please. Between this person. I want that one. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. We have the Queen of Wands. So we could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. The Empress. Again, with creating abundance here, creating something new, growing something. So right away, what I'm seeing is someone wanting to create or go after something that they're very passionate about, something that they desire, taking action on growing something. Also, someone focused on their stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Sun. Beautiful. And Queen of Swords. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. We got Leo energy here get one more oh of course of course it falls on the floor oh beautiful queen of cups so we have three queens on the board and an empress um right away i'm thinking there's too many queens okay so let's look at this because i'm going to clarify all of these but Right away, what I'm seeing is someone going after their happiness. With the Queen of Cups here, or not the Queen of Cups, sorry, the Queen of Swords. I'm seeing this person in this energy of cutting something out here. Communicating also their feelings for someone else. Interesting, Capricorn. I don't see a Queen of Pentacles. That's who I would view as you you could be this empress um someone wants abundance and growth sorry for the noise in the background guys someone wants abundance and growth here they want to go after their happiness here but again i'm very i'm, I'm wondering like why are there three queens here this person could be distracted or be in a group of people. They could be getting advice from different people or they could be experiencing different energies, you know, like this person could be thinking about how much how in love they are with you or how in how they want to focus on love and abundance. Um, they could be thinking about action here, courage with the Queen of Wands, growth with the Empress, family with the Empress as well. So let's clarify. If you are watching this and this is resonating with you and this is a situation with a lot of people, please let me know in the comments what this is about. So let's start with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm thinking this could also be a family situation that this person could be leaving. There could be a mother or a wife involved. It doesn't have to be. It could be a husband or a father as well. Um, but I see a lot of feminine energy here. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles spirit for Capricorn. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? This is long-term stability. This is um, a partnership of some sort with security. Three of Wands. Three of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. So this person could be waiting to have stability and security within a family unit. Five of Cups and Ten of Cups. Okay, so this person could be regretful about... This person is looking at the past here, or it's just sad. Maybe they're not getting a response back. Maybe they are wondering if they waited too long here with the Three of Wands and the Five of Cups. Or maybe the situation that they're currently in 
it's not making them happy. I really feel this person was in some sort of family unit or long-term commitment. And there's regret here. And they're waiting for something else is what I'm getting. Let me clarify this Three of Wands. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. What's this Three of Wands about? Oop. This one's the one that wanted to flip over. Page of Cups. Yeah, this person's waiting to make an offer here to express their emotions or to make an apology. Got the Hermit that almost that wanted to flip over there as well. So tell me about the Queen of Wands then, because then this person's thinking about action. There's attraction, passion here. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Swords and Two of Cups. This person wants to go after their person. Could be a soulmate type of connection, but there's there's new clarity here with this sword, Ace of Swords. Um, they want to take action on what they realized to get their Two of Cups. I feel like you are their prize. <coughs> I have Seven of Wands under the deck, so it's like they want to fight for this. Tell me about the Empress. Well, yeah, Six of Wands. They want victory with their Empress. I feel like you are this Empress energy to them. Someone they can grow with. Tell me more about the Empress. Thank you. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah. This person, I'm getting a lot of, um, there's communication that might be coming your way with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Um, very emo This person has a lot of emotion for their Empress. Tell me about the Sun. I feel like that this person makes them very happy. Tell me more about the sign. The Emperor, sign of Aries. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be taking power into their own hands to get their happiness. No matter how, how hard it is to make it happen, to make this change happen, they're gonna make it happen. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, she is very rational um protects her heart higher font again i'm getting the sense of this person cutting out some sort of commitment here sign of taurus with higher font or they might want to communicate commitment tell me more for this queen of swords queen of swords has been hurt in the past and so she guards her heart this could be you as well capricorn um maybe you might not be as open to or as emotional about this as this other person is. High Priestess and Eight of Pentacles. So again, with the intuition, I feel like this person is listening to the intuition or is not communicating what's going on here. They're working on something though. This person has been dedicated hard at work on something they could have been working on themselves they could have been working on their finances or stability to come and offer you some sort of commitment here with the high priestess um she keeps secrets she's very mysterious um she's very intuitive as well she she has all the answers but she doesn't give them up right away so this person could be keeping this to themselves But then I have the Queen of Swords, almost like maybe this person. Hmm, I think this letting go, this fork in the road, this change in the wind, I don't think this person has told anyone his, his or her plans to do this, to cut this out. They've been listening to their intuition. They've been hard at work secretly. They might be cutting out a commitment or they might be going towards another commitment here. They might be listening to spiritual guidance, wanting to do things right, wanting to have structure in their life. But I don't think they, they've spoken up. King of Swords under the deck. I feel like this person's definitely in this mindset of I need to cut out what no longer serves me and go towards a, my rebirth, my new beginning. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. We have a lot of cups here. So this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio you're dealing with. Aries, Taurus on the board. We have Aries, Leo, Sag as well. Queen of Cups, Death and the Star. Could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius. But what I'm seeing here is 
this ending is going to bring about healing It's going to restore faith and balance here but the, something is definitely ending for this person something's definitely transforming for this person tell me about this star i want to get one more for this star king of pentacles i feel like you are their wish fulfillment or you are something that they've been hoping for. They want to heal a connection with you is what I'm getting. They want stability, long-term commitment with you is what I'm getting, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. We have a lot of signs on the board. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, earth sign. I mean, or an air sign as well. But there has been some sort of regret here. So let's see what else we can get. What other messages can we get for this situation, Spirit? Spirit, what other messages do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? This is the soul's journey. What other messages do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? What other messages do you have for Capricorn, please? Regarding this situation, what else do they need to know regarding this situation? We got honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I feel like this person is being honest with themselves for the first time in possibly a long time. We got change. Yeah, this person, a change in the wind, making a change. They're making a change. Either they're seeing themselves clearly for the first time, they're seeing their future clearly for the first time, or they recognize they have to be honest with themselves and change their situation. We got health. Again, this could have been a toxic situation or it could have been a situation that affected them emotionally. Peace, yeah. They want peace and balance restored into their life and they want abundance here. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. They're definitely manifesting something with you. Headed towards you in a way. I feel like you are what makes them truly happy. What, what they want to build with. You, you are their empress. And of course, empress doesn't have to be male or female. It could be either or. But I really see the Empress as someone who you have a family with or someone that you can grow something with. So what would this person tell Capricorn if they had the chance? What would this person tell you, Capricorn, if they could speak to you right now? Spirit. What would this person... Okay. I regret everything that happened. I keep getting this card in these readings. I will protect what I value. Okay. Anything else that this person would say to Capricorn if they had the chance? What would this person say to Capricorn if they had the chance? I want that one. Yeah, look at this karmic situation. I told you this person is in some sort of karmic situation that they, they have to let go. Because if they don't, I feel like it's going to affect them, affect their health, affect, you know, every affect their future time to walk away so definitely this person is walking away from something towards a new beginning yep bottom of the deck i was not honest with you well we definitely got that with that honesty card this person was not honest with themselves is what i got with this beyond illusion card i feel like this person had is finally seeing things clearly for the first time with the awareness in the Beyond Illusion card. And I definitely feel though that they're going to be communicating. I mean, they're taking their power back with the Emperor here to go after their happiness, like I said. They're gonna be taking action. Um, they might not take action right away, but when they do, oh my gosh, I keep dropping everything. It's gonna be an offer of love and it's gonna be an offer with good intentions here, an offer that's sincere. I feel like they're going to be honest with you finally um, because they've realized they've had clarity that you are their two of cups. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. I hope that this resonated with you. 
Um, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, or commented on the channel recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. I hope to see you guys back in another video. Take care.